Researchers are raising new concerns about electric vehicles and if steel guardrails on the side of a highway can withstand their extra weight. On average, electric vehicles weigh more than their gas-powered counterparts. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson spoke with a traffic engineer and electrical vehicle owners about this study. The study came out of the University of Nebraska and found heavier electric vehicles can easily slam right through steel barriers on the highway and keep going. In many cases, they're heavier because of the weight of the batteries. So we got to upgrade the guardrails? That's what it sounds like. Eh, maybe. I stopped and talked to EV drivers. Don't really care. Don't really care? I mean, guardrails, like, what, what's it protecting you from? What's a guardrail protecting you? What's it guarding you from? Some say their vehicles are not always heavier. I mean, this car is much lighter than my, my prior gas vehicle. Really? Oh, yeah. So yeah. you've been quite happy with it. Then. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. This is not the first headline that EV manufacturers have had to deal with. There have been reports of fires, things of the expensive cost of batteries and replacement parts. So this is an ongoing issue for the EV industry. One News for Jack's viewer writes, much of the negativity comes from sources like Big Oil and Legacy Auto that stand to lose in the transition to EVs. Not one person I know that has purchased an EV would ever go back to owning a gas car. And another, common sense has steered me away. I see no beneficial trade-off, short or long-term. I also talked to longtime Jacksonville transportation engineer Jeff Buckholtz by phone. A lot of detail goes into the design of those, uh, both the main guardrail and the end points where, where cars are likely to hit them on the end. A lot of design goes into that. And also your concrete barrier walls that you see along the roadways. A lot of design thought goes into that. They're not done, uh, not done by happenstance. Industry experts say most guardrails aren't designed to stop vehicles that weigh more than 5,000 pounds, which many electric electric vehicles do. Researchers at the University of Nebraska plan to work with other experts to determine what needs to change with guardrails to keep up with the changing vehicles on the road. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.